Machine Tools Technology, what is it all about? Let's chat. Look, modeling is important, I know, but so is everything else in the design process. In our free Hard Surface Jumpstart course, you will not only feel more comfortable with hard surface modeling, but also confident with rendering and excited about your new game-changing portfolio. Link is in the video description, let's get started. Hi guys, Siri here from Blender Bros and this video is gonna be everything you need to know about machine tools, all the necessary menus and tools I'm using every day and I cannot live without them. Machine Tools is free, so you can get it for free. You can also get a paid version if you need to. Now, I got two massive videos on Machine Tools, so if you wanna go really balls deep, watch these, okay? It's one hour each, so let's go. Okay, first of all, let me tell you which tools you need to have enabled, okay? So go to Add-ons, Machine Tools, right? And enable everything I have enabled. So what you're gonna need is Smart Vert, Edge, Face, Cleanup, then Focus, Align, Thread, and then Mode, Spy, Save, Pie, Sheeting, Views, Align, and Cursor. Now, these two options here, so the Edge Constraint and Extrude, are from the paid version, so if you don't have it, uh, you know, don't worry about it. If you have it, turn them on because it's freaking amazing. Okay, the rest is up to you. Uh, let's go. The first and basic tool in Machine Tools is the Mode Spy, which basically rewrites the tab key for Blender. So when you press tab, there's no more bullshit of pressing one, two, three. You just immediately go into the menu. So if I want to switch from this view to Vert, I'm going to go left. If I want to switch to Edge, I'm going to go down. If you want to switch to Face, you're going to go to the right. Okay, so press, move, release. Press, move, release. Okay, just like in real life with hot chicks. Next very useful thing here is Occlude mode. So if you're in Edit mode and you press Tab and you go to Occlude, you're going to turn on this X-ray mode. Okay, really easy. Sir. So you don't have to go up all the way here with the mouse. It's just convenient under your cursor. And also you have auto match, so if you want to match to vertices, GG and slide, they're going to auto match, okay? Next tool that's really amazing is going to be cleanup. So cleanup is fantastic when you have some rogue verts, you want to clean them up. If you enable that tool and press 3, all the junk is going to disappear. Now, if something doesn't disappear, you still have some shit on your mesh. What you want to do is go Q and operations and clean mesh with hard ops or install 3D print toolbox. It's a blender add-on, go here clean up and make manifold so these are three automated ways of cleaning mesh so if you can do it fantastic if you can't you have to go manual now smart face in situations like this machine tools is fantastic okay if you want to fill this thing with faces you click on the vert and with smart face you just press four and you fill it out the machine tools runs out of spaces to fill click on the vert four you're done the cool thing about this tool is that it follows the curvature so if you have for example like a sphere or something it will try to maintain the curvature of the original geo is brilliant Smart Vert and Smart Edge, they have more functions, the same as Smart Face. Uh, so watch my other videos uh, because there are more functions to it, but I want to show you the, you know, the most common i will be using. So for example, let's say we have this kind of a situation here, delete faces. We're trying to merge these two together, okay? So normally what you need to do in Blender is install loop tools, then select this one, select this one, and then uh, go to Edge Mode, right click, and then go to loop tools and bridge, right? Now the problem is this bridge in Blender is that sometimes you're gonna get this skewed kind of a, a line of faces. So faces are gonna get connected between two edges, but they're gonna be skewed. Now what you can do instead, you can use Machine Tools Smart Edge. So you can Alt-click this one, Shift, Alt-click this one, and press two, done. Now the brilliant tool that I'm using quite a lot is gonna be Thread. Thread is just amazing, okay? So let's say you have this kind of a situation here. Let's grab these two, okay, and insert them a little bit. Let's delete the faces and then combine these two, right? And press two, okay? Then what I'm gonna do is Q and shift graphics work with hard ops. By the way, link to hard ops in the video description. And then we're going to scale this a little bit, okay? Now watch, I'm gonna apply this and grab this bit here in the middle, right click and go to machine tools and click on thread. Then what you can do is simply add more threads and your thread is done. Well, you know, all these Muppets are still slaving in vanilla blender trying to figure this shit out a line tool is a freaking riot guys okay so let's say that we have a cube here and we have uh, where's my um cavity there we go um let's say we have a cube here rotated i wanted to rotate this one to this one okay so you know in blender is gonna be a bit problematic i mean what you can do is uh, select this and select this Control c and then um copy rotation but then you have to also copy location so let me show you what actually machine tools doing okay it's really quick select that shift select that alt a done okay and then you got two cubes literally on the same spot and you can have some fun here you know with cutting whatnot anything you want let's go to other pie menus because we just only covered one which is a mode spy this is the most 
important pi menu but the others okay i'm also using shift s pi menu which is kind of combining two menus from blender uh, which is the origin menu and also uh, the cursor menu right so you don't have to go here to object set origin whatever it's just under one menu and plus you have more options here it's fantastic so let me show you so let's say that i have a cube here and i'm going to grab this face and rip it off right and I'm going to move it, you know, somewhere here. Now my origin point, point is misaligned. So if I want to move it to my object, shift S and move to geometry, right? It's really easy, okay? Also, another thing that I use it quite a lot for is decals, okay? So watch. If I'm going to have a cylinder here, right? And I'm going to have it beveled, right? And I want to, you know, I want to add some decal to it, okay? So I'm going to go to D menu. Let me just turn off box. So I go to D menu, grab a decal, and I want to place this round decal. By the way, all these decals are from our uh, ultimate trim sheet and decal pack. You can get it on our website, link in the video description, okay? So if I wanted to align this decal with this cylinder, all I need to do is go here, shift S, and move to face, and then grab this one and move to cursor, right? I want you to watch how fast this is, okay? Click on the face, and two face, and grab this one and two cursor, and you're done. That's how fast you can align shit with machine tools, okay? This is why we love this tool. Now the Pi menu I'm using quite a lot is Ctrl S. Ctrl A is fantastic when your blender crashes, okay? I'm using PowerSafe. PowerSafe is a brilliant add-on for free, link in the video description, and you can set up automatic saves for your blender, so when you crash, you lose no work. So let's say we were working here and our blender crashed, so all I need to do is Control S and click on most recent, all all recent. So I'm gonna see all the files that are previously loaded, and I'm gonna be back when I started. This menu has other options. For example, you know, append, link. The same with export and importing of FBX OBJs. So it's a really cool menu. You also have purge, so you don't have to go here to the top menu, and you know, orphan data and purge. Right, just one click, which is really convenient. Okay. So play with it is fantastic. Another menu I'm using quite a lot is page down. Page down is brilliant. It's for your camera. Okay. So let's say that uh, I have a cube here. Okay. And this is my scene. And I have some plane here on the bottom. Okay. And I want to align my camera to my view now. All I need to do is press page down and then smart camera to view. Page down. Okay. Set my focal length to let's say 85. And also we need to lock it to view. And that's how easy it is to set camera with uh, machine tools, okay? Then the cool thing is that you can also add another camera. So if you want to have, for example, camera from this angle, right like that, you can go here, hold alt, click, and you got a second camera. Easy? Cool. Now, shading pie is something I'm not using too often. It's page up. And basically, there are two of these menus combined into one. You can change matcap, uh, all kinds of overlays, etc. It's, it's kind of interesting. I'm not really using it that much. I kind of got used to, you know. Uh, using the top menu but you can use it if you want to and the last pie i'm going to talk about is align pie you got align tool remember i told you about it now i get align pie now align pie is freaking insane so let's say you're gonna have a cube like this and you want to you know sort of align it back to a cube um you can do it with blender and it's going to be a little bit annoying and i don't know if you can align it perfectly but uh, it's going to be a little bit of work now with machine tools is a joke okay Select the vert you want to align to a vert you want to align, and then you know press Alt A based on view. Okay, it's a pie menu, right? So Alt A, we're not align it down, right? Then we're gonna align this one to this one, right? So Alt A and left, okay, and then we want to align it with this one. So Alt A and right, and you're back to a cube. Now you got more options in here, so you can access the axis mode, which is a bit more advanced. And that's it guys now like i told you i have two massive videos on machine tools so go ahead and watch them they go in depth on each of these tools and will teach you more options maybe you're gonna be you know something useful for your workflow because we all have different workflows right but for me these tools are like 95 percent of the time i'm using for machine tools and they cut my workflow time in you know i don't know by 10. it's just insane how much time i can save with these and if you learn how to combine all these tools okay machine tools hard ops box and mesh machine you're going to be devastatingly quick, okay? So keep practicing. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.